Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide and we are on May 2nd, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to the Volcano Activity Report and as well the planetary positionings for now week 18 of 2023. Having a zoom in here on our solar system and where Earth is and everybody else in our system right now, we are going through it mercury retrograde hence all of the earthquake activity that we've seen we're also still in this planetary conjunction one corner of the solar system pluto moving out of range now as we spin around but let's have a close look here at what our planets will be doing here for the next couple weeks venus and mars getting ready for some close approaches into the first couple of weeks here of May, Mercury will finish its retrograde, but it is a long duration here, lasting a couple of weeks time. Watch for the earthquake seismicity to be steady. Things have quieted down today across the world, but definitely picking up as we speak as we're seeing earthquakes in China and as well across North America. But this is how our solar system is looking right now and for the next couple weeks as we spin around our sun yet again. But around the world, we're looking at 49 erupting and or active volcanoes. Having a look here, Volcano Discovery, showing a map of where all of these erupting volcanoes are. So red is in eruption, orange is have been erupting and yellows are showing signs of in uh, showing signs of unrest. We're going to start out here at the Aleutian Islands and into Alaska, where we have the Katmai volcano. Minor activity and or eruption warning has been for quite some time. Same as the Trident volcano showing signs of unrest. And Yakchak as well. The Great Sitkin minor activity eruption warning February 2023. Takawanga, as well as Tanaga, right beside there. We saw the earthquake swarm earlier. Sesma Pochnoi, as well, through the Rat Islands, and then through Kamchatka. It's been very busy, as we all know. Having a look here northward, where we had Bezimieni, Kluchevskoy, and as well Shevelich, with a lot of activity over the last couple of weeks totally encompassing the northern hemisphere with sulfur dioxide and as well ash all infecting the low pressure systems across the world carrying on here with ebiko as well into japan sakurajima and swiss najima nishinashima submarine volcano which i had mentioned yesterday quite possible here's another one iwo jima down into Philippines with the Tal Volcano. Hope my friend Daryl is staying safe out there. He's visiting that place right now. As well, showing signs of unrest there. A couple new ones as well. Karangatang, Northern Indonesia. You've got Ibu as well. Just east there, you have Dokono. And then through the Lesser Sunda Islands, Luatolo Volcano. And westward through Jakarta, Semeru, Merapi, and as well Krakatoa. Saw a couple articles already. Activity is being observed through the region, as well Kerinci Volcano, Merapi, and as well Cinnabon. And even more northward up into India with the Barren Island Volcano, which is a stratovolcano. And then overlooking Africa. We've also got Ert Ale, Niramirgira, and as well Niragongo, Aldoño, Langai, notable here, Karthala, and as well Mayotte Island, showing signs of unrest, quiet east of Madagascar. And then we get to Italy here, where we have, of course, Etna, and as well Stromboli, and a volcano, volcano. Vulcan, lots of activity through that region recently for earthquakes. 
as well here through the North Atlantic, South George, and as well another one there, quiet through Iceland, nothing to report at all. And then we get down into Central America, starting here in Mexico with Popopacerito, as well as Santiaguito, Fuego, San Miguel, Messiah Volcano, Recon de la Veja, and as well notable there, Unrest Talica, Sufrer de Guadalupe, and as well Pele, showing signs of unrest, Fernandina, signs of unrest, through the Cocos Plate, now here th through Colombia, Nevadas de Ruiz, seen quite a few eruptions this week, as well Cotopaxi and Reventador and Senge through Ecuador. Lots of SO2 being thwarted into our atmosphere from South America as well. Lascar Volcano, Sabincaya, as well Laguna de Mal and Villarica through Chile. And there was another one being reported this week from Pacific Disaster Center, uh, Desca Mazito. Nothing being reported here with Volcano Discovery. And that is a look around the world. Actually, no, we still need to go to Papua New Guinea and as well the Tonga region. So let's zoom over into Papua New Guinea. I'm going to show here the earthquakes correlating to all of the volcanic activity. But here through the Bismarck Sea, sea we've got Cadavor, as well Manam, Notable, Langila, as well Ulawan Volcano, Bougainville Island with Bagana, Notable here, Kavachi, and then Vanuatu, very active region as well, the Gawa Volcano, Eoba, Epi, and as well Yes Sir. Notable here, showing signs of unrest, Tofua, just north of the Honga Tonga, as well the White Island Volcano through New Zealand. And then, of course, last but not least, the one and only erupting volcano in the Antarctic that we know of, Erebus, Erebus the mighty Erebus, Mount Erebus. So that is the volcano activity across the world as we're looking at 49 that are active and, and or erupting. So we're back up into those higher numbers and have been here for a couple of years now. Our average is 25 to 30 that are erupting daily. We've been double that for a few years, for, for a few years now. So heads up everybody, stay aware, prepared. Let's correlate the earthquakes and as well the notable regions Turkey, Kermadec Trench down into New Zealand, and as well Central America, and then all of the volcanic activity that we've seen coming off of Kamchatka definitely changed things as we've been watching on the SO2 models from windy.com over the last little while, that huge SO2 plume. Activity still rumbling through Turkey and as well through Greece. Indonesia. West Ring of Fire has been very active recently down into the Kermadex. But heads up, through the Northeast Pacific Plate, through Cascades and Alaska, something is a brewing. So confirming here with Smithsonian Volcano Activity Report, as well from USGS, listing here 49 of volcanoes in continuing eruption status. And here is the list of all of the 49 volcanoes that are erupting. I'm gonna leave you here looking at that. New one there, Tina Kula.
Erebus, Antarctica, the only known volcano in the Antarctic that we know is erupting. Our world is still, there is still so much to discover. There are thousands of volcanoes across this planet. We have 49 erupting and at least 100 that are showing signs of unrest or erupting. Having a look here at the windy three-day model, still a lot of SO2 coming out of Kamchatka with the eruptions as of late, and as well through the Aleutian Islands, but definitely has cleared up since the large eruption at Shevluch a couple weeks ago. Northern Hemisphere being inundated with SO2 and ash particulates. You can see a big dark cloud coming out of Central America as well through Popopocatitl volcano in Mexico. All through, all through Vanuatu. Biggest polluters in the world. There are 49 of them. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the planetary positioning report and as well volcano activity for week 18, 2023. Much love, everybody, and we will see you in the next update or in the live stream, which you can come by and check out anytime. Earthquake live stream as well, Space Weather Live. Much love, everybody. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share with your friends and family. Keeping humanity aware and prepared. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. We'll see you next video.